What's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique, and today we're checking out something really, really cool, something I've never seen before, and it's called Remedy. And it's from a company called Songwish. And what this is, is essentially like Serato Sample, but for MIDI, which allows much more control over the final output of the sound. So what I'm gonna do is just show you around the plugin. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it's really, really great for just creative purposes. Like if you're looking for inspiration or happy accidents, using Remedy in your projects is going to make that happen quite often. So what I have here inside of Ableton Live is Remedy, and it's R-E MIDI, re MIDI, but it, it's pronounced Remedy. I've got it on a MIDI track, and then I have Serum on a second MIDI track set up to take the MIDI input from Remedy. Okay, so inside of Ableton Live, MIDI from, you go Remedy, Remedy, and then you set the monitor to in, and it will play the MIDI output from Remedy. So I'm actually using it on a monophonic synthesizer, and you can see here, these are actually the notes. So these are pretty large chords. But as I said, in terms of happy accidents, with the glide effect on Serum and on this monophonic lead, it's really creating an interesting sound. You know, especially that bit right there. So what this is doing is it has a large bank of MIDI files. So factory MIDI, and we've got Baroque, classical, folk, hymn, open hymnal, uh, Renaissance, and romantic. So if you come in and like classical, you're gonna get like Bach and Beethoven and so on, Mozart and whatnot. And these are full MIDI tracks or, or MIDI versions of their actual pieces of music. And of course you can import your own, but what Remedy does is slices it up depending on the settings you have down here and then maps those chords or notes to your keyboard. So right now I'm just pressing one key on my keyboard and it's playing this section of MIDI, which is a section from the actual full track. So let me just go ahead and switch up to Beethoven. Let's check out the violin concert. So I'm just gonna double click here and it's gonna load up. And it might be better to put piano on here so you can get a little bit of better uh, idea of what's happening. So what I'm gonna do is come into my grand piano, just drop it on there instead of serum. So this is a slice or a sample from Beethoven's Violin Concerto 3. So I'm just pressing one note on my keyboard and it's playing different slices of that MIDI file. And I can choose the bank. The bank is if the song is really long and the size, you just chop it down really low um, and it goes outside of the range of a normal keyboard, you'll have a number of different banks. But for the most part, it's gonna be zero banks, which just means it's gonna be uh, distributed over your keyboard without any issue. Size is how long. So if I increase, you'll see that the size is actually longer. And if I go down, And not only that, but we can shift. And we can also change the tempo and how quickly that plays. And one thing that's really cool about tempo is if you go down to zero, you're just gonna get chords, essentially. So you can play those chords just like you would be playing them on a regular keyboard, but with just one key instead and the chords are taken from whatever piece of MIDI you have loaded here. So let's check out something else. Let's come into, I know Fury Lease is in here somewhere. Let's find it. So if I come back up to normal speed. All right, so you can see what it's doing here and it's really, really cool. But because it's MIDI, you know, changing the tempo isn't going to affect the pitch. Uh, you're gonna be right on the money every time. Transposition going up, uh, you know, full octave is gonna be perfect. And let me bring it back to one.
So it's very, very cool. Now it gets a lot better because some of these MIDI tracks actually have multiple tracks inside of them. So if I'm gonna try actually try to find one here. Probably something outside of classical, maybe jazz will come in here. All right, let's set it back down. Um, I can turn these off, and as I turn them off, you'll actually see notes being removed inside of the display there. So perhaps this is a bass, and what I can do now is take the remedy and duplicate it and have one instrument being triggered as the bass and one instrument being triggered as the piano and then set both remedy channels to be triggered at the same time and we can actually start playing complex systems of music. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that actually. What I'm going to do is duplicate remedy. So here's the other one. I'm going to pull it over here and let's take, I don't know, what, what, what can we use here? Let's come into a pack. Orchestral strings, cello. Uh, let's put that here. Close this down. I'm going to put that next to it just so we can stay kind of coordinated here. I'm going to take MIDI from uh, Remedy, which would be the second one. And again, Remedy in. Have them this be triggered and this be triggered. But let's open up this Remedy. It's going to play that. Let's open up this Remedy and have it play this. So that's not a great example, but I mean, this is going to work the same way as you flip through these. So brass section, let's, well, let's use this one, the clarinet. And again, we need to come in and go to BSG, JG. We have to go to the same file here. And it was C, I believe, right? No, B. And again, we can just use the brass. So that tempo, so my tempo of 93 is probably too fast here. So I suppose we could knock it down to 50%. But you get the idea here. And some of these, you can see here, this actually has four different instruments. So you could just uh, duplicate this process twice more, add these certain um, instruments there if you want to stay true to the original, brass clarinet, a pad, and a string ensemble. And you'll be actually be able to trigger different sections of those with all four instruments. And it will sound great because the MIDI itself was put together to sound great. So beyond that, uh, you can also take the entire source MIDI and drag it into your project if you want to tackle it that way. You can see here this is a full song. It's actually quite long. It's like 37 bars there. Or you can take the MIDI that's been generated by uh, what you're doing. So here is this section I'm looking at right here, and here we go. I've loaded that section right inside of my DAW, and now I can make changes or you know, just have it there. I can adjust the velocity, so on and so forth. So I do want to point out that although you do get an incredibly large MIDI library when you get Remedy, uh, you can import your own tracks. I know I said it in the beginning, but I just want to reiterate that because you know, there are tons of MIDI libraries on the internet with pop songs, for example, that have those different instruments laid out all in one MIDI file. You just bring that in here and then you can trigger those chords or that lead uh, using this kind of MIDI sampling method. It's very, very cool, very unique, and we're excited to have it on Plugin Boutique. So if you want to check out more details, make sure to click the link in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.